Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain Mod. I'm your host, Mr. China Lover. But we must now be assuring Khrushchev of Mao's stance. Chairman Mao has penned a letter urging Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev to show patience and not intervene in the current Hungarian crisis. Oh no. Previously, the government has expressed support of an intervention, and the Soviets appreciate our views on the matter. However, this letter would change your stance and may influence Khrushchev, who is concerned of how the wider communist world would view his second intervention. We must decide whether we should ensure the letter reaches Khrushchev immediately to try and prevent an intervention. However, <clears throat> there are those who suggest it may be best to let the matter sit, as we've already consulted the Soviets. Further comment may only complicate the situation and our relations. Let's not push the issue. And the letters received. So, I actually had to look this up. I didn't know anything. I knew about the Hungarian Re Revolution, sort of, you know, the revolt here. And it really happened, like, in October, I think, to, like, early November, November, where it was eventually crushed. I, it says Mao might have had quite a bit of influence, historically, with this one. And Khrushchev was like, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, <clears throat> It's only August. We got some time. I'm gonna say let's not push the issue. So we have the deteriorating situation in Hungary because like, its sources are kind of mixed. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. But um, like Mao's like, no, don't do that. And then eventually he's like, from my understanding, he's like, just go for it. Just go for it. And right now we're doing the hundred flowers campaign. Um, Chairman Mao is prepared to take action in the greatest campaign ever launched in the People's Republic of China. It won't be an easy task as many in the party are still doubtful, but surely we will succeed. Yeah, which will be very, very, very good. Nothing bad happened in the People's Republic of China. Never, ever. And if you hear anything about like that, stuff like that, they're wrong. And so we got a couple comments to go through. We have almost half a trillion here. Uh, Nagi announces Hungarian withdrawal from. The Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh oh My apologies about that, but the game crashed again, like at the beginning of the last episode. Someone did leave a comment that it's not actually the game crashing, it's just a CIA that's kind of like knocking on my door, which you're not necessarily wrong, but like... Anyways, if you want to read the first backwards classes commission, please go right ahead. Obviously with the invasion of Hungary, um, unsurprising, yeah, a lot of dead people now. Second arduous march, um, a recent power struggle against Kim Il-sung ended in failure. Senior leaders of the pro-Soviet and pro-Chinese factions of the Korean Communist leadership attempted to remove Kim from power. They plan to confront him at the next major central committee meeting and criticize him for failing to correct his leadership style following the de-Stalinization wave sweeping the communist world. Kim Il-sung apparently discovered the plot and turned the tables on his rivals. He first delayed the meeting for a month and packed the audience with his loyalists. When the criticism began, the supporters of Kim shouted down the critics, foiling the plot. Afterwards, many pro-Soviet and pro-Chinese communist leaders were arrested. Kim Il-sung announced plans for a new purge, indicating he may finally succeed in breaking all rival factions within the party. Uh, I think last time we took him out, didn't we? Yeah, he's not here anymore. Kim Tu Bong. Mr. Bong here. Soviets have more influence than us, which kind of sucks, but... Actually, can we influence him from here? That'd be kind of cool if we could. Pay off that economic aid, start influencing nation. Um, uh, adds 50 points of influence for your country every day until it expires or you cancel it. Cost 50 PP every day. Wow. And one foreign production power. I think that they already are our puppet, but still. So, the Hundred Flowers Campaign. Chairman Mao stated that the policy of letting a hundred flowers bloom in a hundred schools of thought content is designed to promote the flourishing of the arts and pro uh, progress of science. And it was with this idea that the PRC began the Hundred Flowers Campaign, being directed at encouraging the citizens of China to express openly their opinions, as the idea was to promote the intellectuals to discuss the country's problems in order to promote new forms of arts and cultural institutions. It didn't take long for protests to rise up against the CPC. And for letters to flood Mao with criticism, just as it didn't take long for Chairman Mao to not to begin, or yeah, to begin a prosecution campaign against those who were critical of the regime and his ideology, and those that were targeted were publicly criticized and condemned to prison labor camps. China soon witnessed the creation of the anti-rightist movement. There's a lot of fake news here in China, stuff that uh, people don't want you to know about. So, <laughs> people's democracy, yes, it's totally a people's democracy. Actually, how's the budget doing? Because right now, we're doing okay. we still got some more comps to go through. Energy meters, very nice. Just got to keep improving yourself here. Oh, yes. Large-scale core extraction. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that manpower. Beautiful. Actually, we're going to get some research done first. Yeah, five days. The SAP. American combination of Soviet aggression at the UK UN. Interesting. Cool. Interesting. I think my dad actually remembered like when he saw Khrushchev speaking at that UN declaration and stuff like that. So, very weird. My family's old. Sort of. Sort of old. Cool. Two more days. Half twist conveyor belts, huh? Let's get. Ooh, nice. Preventative maintenance. 
Yes, that'll be good. Very, very good. We have six research slots. That's so nice. Let's go and do Soviet MIG's 15s. Let's do that one. It's only 25 day folks. That's pretty fast, right? Pretty darn. Wow, we're losing a lot, aren't we? Level 10 intra party opposition. Oh. Well, that's not good. Execution of Mossadge. Oh, uh, well, that's not good. Well, Iran's just having a bad time, man. That is so bad. I didn't realize we were losing weekly stability. So, all right. I encourage open criticism of the regime. Sure, this measure will yield a lot of power for us. But wouldn't it be safer for the party to keep it, or should our strategy be changed? Yeah, we, 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 we got to change that properly. I'll be honest, we probably got to change that. That's not looking good for the stability of the nation. Uh, for 1955 stuff, we're already down. It was, of course, 56. Uh, more attack might not be bad. Anti-ship missiles might not be bad. Um, Sam carriers. It's probably not going to do us too much. Cruise missiles. It's not bad. Multi yeah, multi roll does get a bonus to ground attack. Um, yeah, we could do that eventually. Spacecraft, eventually. Weapons of mass destruction. I'd love to do that. Atomic research facilities. Yeah, why not? So we're getting more civvies. We get some more office parks. We get some millies. And we're getting more civvies as well. So that's the main thing we're trying to do. I mean, one of the comments was for me to get more water infrastructure. So we'll get that eventually. I mean, we're looking... Actually, we're... Hmm, this went down a little bit. But Soviet reapproachment with Yugoslavia. Relations with the USSR and Yugoslavia deteriorated rapidly after World War II. Soviet leader Joseph Stalin tried to force the Yugoslavian president jo Josip Tito to obey his dictates or diktats. The relation or t he refused, and after several hostile letters to one another, the relationship remained cold. However, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev has made reconciliation and positive relations with Yugoslavia a major objective of his foreign policy of friendly re relations. Khrushchev recently visited Belgrade, and despite Tito initially showing hostility, a breakthrough was achieved, and both men agreed to re-establish closer cooperation between the two communist states. Although the trip was a success, there are rumblings among the other communist parties in the world that Khrushchev is reconciling with the regime that is a track record of implementing a liberal communism. Supporters of Khrushchev counter that unifying the entire communist world is important in order to prevent capitalist exploitation and divisions. Hopefully this reduces Balkan tensions, but are the Balkans ever at peace? Maybe somewhat. That's yeah, just for here anyways. I'll get rid of that. We could send some aid if we really want to. I think it'll be okay. We can close that too. Cool. <clears throat> and permit intellectuals to break taboos. Abolish bureaucratism. Pressuring cadres resistance. Let's do permit intellectuals to break taboos. Sure, this measure will yield a lot of power for us, but it'll be safer to keep the party for the party to keep it. Should our strategy be changed? Cool. Manhattan Rebellion. Oh look at that. Manhattan Rebellion, huh? Ah, it was a US bow, okay. It's concerning, very concerning. Interesting. You never know what might happen. You never know. Cool. And about ten more days left. Awesome. Yeah, that's really bad. Intra party opposition, Jesus Christ. Um, actually, though, we're only losing it. We're not even losing stability because we have so much already. Oh! Yep, there goes Israel. Well. Oh, that. Mmm, that's weird. Okay. Are they not. Huh. Alright, cool. British troops uh, land in Suez. Better get that gas now. Gas, gas, gas. Because Egypt last time took it over, and then I guess the Brits came back and said, no, 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 you're not doing that. Well, we're going to do abolish bureaucratism next. Let's see what happens. It should totally go okay for us, right? Look at all this stuff here. Water infrastructure. The formation of MPLA. Ah, Angola. Concerning news for Portugal. Uh, how's this looking? Ah, the UK down here. The Kingdom of Swaziland. Oh, they actually are independent. Look at that. Look at that guy. So who's the second? Wow. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. We could use way more fuel, but still. Oh, we actually have some ships. Well, these things really aren't really... Great. Cho Kung class. Oh, yeah, they're not that great. Oh, God. Yeah, our ships would just get blown the heck out of the water. Um, you're still repairing, right? If you need to do that, go ahead and do that if you need it. Are we... There we go. They're still repairing. It takes just a while for them to do that. That's fine. And then, it was all for nothing. Oh, Egyptian victory! Oh! The underdogs came out on top. Wow. I, I, thought, I thought... Did Israel lose that one? They might have lost that one before. I could be wrong. I, I don't remember my Middle East history after World War II, really. So, so yeah. Okay, well, good luck, guys. Good luck. How are we doing? Uh, there was one comment saying that I should go ahead and, like, since we have so many resources already, maybe we should just go ahead and, uh, like, just go to, like, limited exports. That might be more beneficial for us, maybe? Give us conscription. Close the... Well, yeah. That helps us with our output resources. Uh, resources to market goes up by 20%. We'll get some light artillery, which is nice. Um, anything else here? Not really. I guess we can get some t tank destroyers too, I suppose. That's fine. How are we doing on lighter arty? We're so we're actually almost out of our deficit, which is really good. 
Self propelled guns, we don't really. Eh, I won't really probably do that one. Core extraction is very good. 60 stuff, so we're gonna wait for that. Special forces and stuff. Uh, more defense will be good, yeah. Type 54 DSKH. Or DSHK. Nice. Heavy armaments, cool. We got heavy armaments. Let's go with even heavier armaments. Some sort for some sort of ship stuff, you know. More soft tech. Wow. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, it looks like we have another one there, but we don't. Okay. And then pressure cadres for criticizing. This will totally won't backfire, right? Entry party opposition has gone too far. We have to take action now before it gets too late. But what path to choose? Wow, seventy-one percent is really bad, actually. Okay, now it's going down by point three. That sucks. That really sucks. But hey, we got sixty-nine burgers. Nice. All right, and two days left. Preventative maintenance is good, good, good. Can we get any more, any more artillery? No. Have, ooh, actually, we do have our heavy artillery. We are using that, so. Okay, no more from the five-year plan, so be it, so be it. Other comments include, let's see, water infrastructure improves farming efficiency. Uh, NATO forms as a faction when someone attacks a member, or a NATO member, so I didn't know that, because we, we look over here, and, well, we have the Warsaw Pact, but there's no NATO, so. I guess if you attack one of the uh, nations, then they will form NATO, so. Cool. And after this, we will do a coping with increased hostility towards the CPC. Entry party opposition has gone too far. We have to take action now before it's too late, but which path to choose? Could reconsider the legitimacy of the regime. Which I'd like to do, but that's not very historical. We need to do a rectification campaign. Yes. The anti riotist campaign. We use a lot of political power. Rectification time has come. Fight the party revisionists. Nice. 125 factories is not good enough. Hey, 0.5. Not bad. It's still going up. We started at 49, pretty low, but we're we're going up year over year, 13%. Not as much as I'd like, but you know it is what it is. Um, at all times, I want us to keep making at least one office park. So, 12% there. Cadres, great. Another time, go on. Coping with increased hostility. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. Uh, weapons of mass destruction, USSR, America. Um, we need way more auto cannons though. Guns looking good. Where, where are the auto cannons? Yeah, we, we already want to get a lot of them, so. We should be okay with that many. We really should be, so. Yeah, we're going to keep it like that for now. Oh, by one end of French India. Oh, that sucks. Surprising. About Albanian subversion. Don't forget you're here forever. Oh, boy. The annexation of Nagar Havali. Ah. All right. Twilight looms for the Portuguese Empire. A coup in Taipei. Oh. Whoa. Backed by the CIA and president, huh? Well, that sucks for you. Sun Li Jen. A seed to American pressure. I wonder if the Americans like him. Uh, can I do anything else here? Not really. It doesn't look like it. I hope you okay. And really, the rectification campaign. So if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Local elections. Abolish censorship. Censorship all the way, my friends. Uh, free the National People's Congress. Release political opponents. Offer general election with Taiwan. No. Look at that. So bad. Holy crap. High integration of the former administration. High quotas. Equality. State media. Weekly change. Xinjiang separatists. Oh, it's so bad. Thank you, Sword 2 is nice. And support companies? And what about here? Better supply grace? That's not bad. Support maintenance? Um, Trickleback's not bad either. We get some more recon. I like recon. We already have that for our soldiers, so we might as well get that, right? How are you guys still training? You guys are really not very good, are you? Huh. So after the rectification campaign, counter-offensive on the revolutionary front. Rectification time has come. Fight the party revisionists. Public criticism of the enemies of the regime. Wow. That's uh, quite a bit, you know? Quite a bit. Cool. This is really bad. What is this one? Level 6 party supremacy. I like that. I thought we had higher, but Turkish intervention into Syria. Ah, uh, yeah, Syria. United Arab Republic. Oh, look at this. Oh, we actually got somebody. Unnamed. That's probably Luo Ting. That's probably really good to get that person because they're unnamed. Yang Shen. Unnamed. So seducer Antof. The anti riotist campaign. Let's get her. She looks Chinese? Hmm. Okay. Uh, following the Hundred Flowers campaign. The Mao Zedong was determined to root out reactionary elements from the nation, establishing a campaign to prosecute those who criticized the government from the PRC. Immediately after the end of the Hundred Flowers movement, Mao began to arrest intellectuals and critics, with the penalties of hard labor or execution in some cases, with the judicial power being replaced by political cadres and the police. It was soon seen that 300,000 people had been labeled as rightists. It was rumored that Deng Xiaoping was one of the most enthusiastic prosecutors of the movement during its wave of pur purges. 
the resentment against Raidus goes as far back in the Communist Party as a long march, exemplified by the hatred against Zhang Bojun. Jesus Christ. Label the Raidus officials. Cool. And we're going to also do public criticism of the enemies of the Reich, no, regime, and ah, crack down on minorities. The rectification campaign after the radicalization of the land reform by elements of the Communist Party of Vietnam. It hasn't taken long for the execution and the social isolation of landlords to begin, with a Politburo document being released that details what one per thousand people the total population must be executed, on the grounds of them being landlords or otherwise collaborating with landlords. It has been estimated that 15,000 reactionaries and landlords are dead. The VWP has thus far started a campaign on the rectification of errors after the execution of these landlords many of which have falsely been falsely or wrongly sentenced to death with a three-phase operation. It has been reclassified peasants and reinstituted property that has been erroneously expropriated or otherwise made in, in suitable compensation for these mistakes. Furthermore, there's been a review, inventory, and concentrated reinductionation of local personnel. Interesting. The Assembly of the Captive European Nations. Whoa. Another American diplomatic front begins. Europe cannot live half free and half slave. Well, it is what it is. We're currently doing public criticism of the regime, so up next... Execute the reluctance and dismantle the, auto the autonomy of the judicial system. Yeah, we don't need a judicial system. All we need is a party. That's all we do need. And we'll crack down a minority soon, but like, I think this one, this is probably the biggest thing in our way right now, so. We'll see what happens. We can silence the opposition. McCarthy passes away quietly. <gasps> no, a twist of fate. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Oh, I like hurts. But, anyways, uh, GDP is now over half a trillion, which is nice. Um, we're still trying to build up. Obviously, we're trying to make an intelligence agency as well, which maybe I should stop doing that just so we can keep building ourselves up here more and more and more, more. Two on civvies, one on office parks, one on millies. Very good stuff, actually. Just amount of the autonomy of the judicial system is really hurting us, too. Level 7, intro party opposition minus 3 a day, which is so... Oh, my gosh, that's so bad. Oh, my goodness. Medium illegal opposition. Yeah, we got to just keep cracking down on people, man. Engineer entrenchment? Yes, yeah, sappers will be very good to get. We got a beeline through this because this is hurting us quite badly. Hundred Flowers campaign is looking pretty good though, but oh my goodness, it's so bad here. It's so bad. The economy's still doing okay, but everything else is like, ah! Ah! Kingdom of Cambodia, Laos. Hmm. Norodom. Cool. And Vietnam's led by, well, South, uh, South Vietnam. Ngo Dinh Diem. And North Vietnam's led by. Mr. Happy Man, Uncle Ho! Can you imagine calling your uncle, Uncle Ho? Ah, correct on minorities. The purge of the legal system in the anti rights campaign. During the anti rights campaign, <clears throat> in order to facilitate the prosecution of intellectuals and other dissenters of the Mao's government, legal scholars and workers were also prosecuted and sentenced to harsh jail sentences for collaborating or otherwise slowing down the movement. The judicial system was scrutinized and watched carefully as it was slowly replaced by the party cadres loyal to the CPC and Mao, and the police in order to facilitate the arrest and the dishing out of sentences. Those that weren't arrested were transferred to the other job that didn't impede the takeover of the independent judiciary by the party, a move that for many signified that Mao was consolidating his power even further in China. Concerning! Declare martial law in troubled territories. Um, we could do that. Crackdown on Uyghur mosques. American calls for humanitarian aid to Turkey. All right. Interesting. I think we'll ex just execute the uh, reluctance. Wow, look at that. We have a lot How do we get more manpower? Um, equality, equal rights, Xinjiang, separatists. Got some counterintelligence. I think we'll wait to do more of this stuff. We can wait for a little later. Yugoslavia is positive neutrality. He is kind of handsome, not going to lie. That's just his demeanor. The coup in Thailand? Cool. Cool, interesting. And someone also wants me to play as Tito. Like, we'll get there eventually. Like, these campaigns are going to be long campaigns, to be honest. Like, if we want to do everything here, they're going to be long campaigns. Whether it's good or bad, it's going to be a long campaign. So, it is what it is. Uh, hope you stay with us through the entire time. If not, I totally understand. So, cool. 80%. Infrastructure construction speed. So, no public spending. 80% more. That's that's quite a big jump. Free repair. It's not bad. 160%. Jesus Christ. Ah. American recognition of the Turkish annexation of northern Syria. Crack down on minorities, of course. Um, let's go ahead and choose for execution. Ethnic and religious persecution of the, in the People's Republic of China. Fake news. With the advent of the Hundred Flowers Movement, which brought dozens of letters and outspoken protests in Mao's China, it did not take long for the ethnic and religious minorities. Uh, all over China to follow examples of the intellectuals who criticize their achievement in China by the authorities, along with criticisms to the CPC and Mao Zedong himself. The helmsman soon answered with the purge of the intellectuals, and along with them, the minorities, being subject to torture, public humiliation, and pressure. Many of these cases were followed by suicide or executions, suffering a similar fate to the intellectuals that were crushed during the anti rights campaign. Very concerning. Very concerning. Oh, we'll help them out. Why not? We can. Because we can. Oh, it's so bad. Cool military police is good. We definitely need that for now. 
Um, mechanized stuff. Uh, that stuff is okay. Land doctrine is still coming along very nicely, actually. Very, very nicely. Radar. Medium armaments. Light armaments. anti sub stuff. Actually, let's get some anti sub stuff. You might need it later on. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm going to try to research as much as we possibly can. There's no guarantee that we'll do very well, but obviously we'll see. After we execute some more riotists. Oh, it's so bad, so bad, so bad. Minus point two is actually getting better. Um, silence the opposition. Yes, I think that'll be great. Silencing the opposition has never done poorly for any nation in the world, especially in China. Especially. Oh, come on. Oh, actually, that's municipal. Municipal. I always say that word wrong. Municipal. Municipal infrastructure. And I guess there's more construction speed in the state and stuff like that. Oh, look at that. Hey, more military stuff. Great. Get some more suppression bonus. Ah, we love suppression here in China. Not that we use it. It's just, we love it. Execute the radicals. The executions of dissidents in the anti riotist campaign. As the anti riotist campaign goes underway, many intellectuals are being arrested, tortured, or otherwise humiliated and jailed. Uh, uh, Chen Feng Xiao was jailed for 15 years during the campaign for being a riotist and thus betraying the Maoist movement. Many dissidents were scorched by fire, beaten to death, or executed by firing squad, and estimated 400,000 to 700,000 people were politically prosecuted. The backbreaking labor and the death of the prison system often led to their deaths, and others were completely excluded from society, such as Luo Longji and Zhang Bojun, while others, such as Chen Meng Jia, committed suicide due to the exclusion and political pressure concerning. After that, let's go ahead and crack down on Uyghur mosques. Yes. Actually, right now, how's it bad? So every time we do a focus, it doesn't say it, but actually, weekly change is getting better. So we have level 6 intra-party opposition. And we have low illegal opposition. So the more we do here, the better our stability will eventually become. At least that's a goal. That's a hope. So let's see what happens. we got about a week left. It's not bad. I would want GDP to do better. I want more money here. Army upkeep is okay. Air Force upkeep is okay. Navy upkeep is really small. Um, we don't need more taxes. We can go high taxation, but we'll see what happens. Growth rate is 5%. It's not good enough. It's really not good enough. But since we're here anyways, nice. Now crack down the mosques. So now we're losing how much stability? Maybe not any. I guess we'll see in a little bit. Oh, we are losing weekly war spark, which sucks. Level 5, intra-party opposition. Are we actually getting political power now, or is it losing some? Okay, we're actually gaining political power now. That's not bad. That's actually much better than it was earlier, so. After we crack down on Uyghur Muslims, we're going to declare martial law on the Triple Territory, so we get some more stability. Which would be nice. And we do have 85 food. That's nice. Oh, look at this person. Linguist, safecracker, tough. Sign us up. Yes, please. Um, one, two, three. So farms, get nice. More infrastructure, and then more generic infrastructure. Supply output, su supply throughput. Engineer 2 sappers are very good. Um, that's a little bit ahead of time. Mm, helicopters would be nice. Light aircraft, how are we doing with this stuff? We need better... I'm glad we get all these anyway, so we don't have to research too much more, which is very nice, actually. Ah, uh, come on, can someone else die here? I want to see some sort of conflict. It's only 57, but still. Pakistan's doing very nicely. Iran, the Middle East is kind of a mess. Eretria is still here. Ah, uh, when does decolonization happen? Correct on Uyghur Muslims. Attempted assassination on Chiang Mian. Earlier this morning in Seoul, uh, an assassination attempt against Chiang Mian failed. A sniper in the Sigong building attacked the vice president and received a penetrating wound to the wrist initially, immediately. Security forces moved to shield him and chase a sniper. The sniper attempted to flee but was arrested. Chiang Mian is currently in the hospital seeing to his injuries and investigations being mounted. The primary suspect to the incident is the Liberal Party, who are the only ones who may desire to kill the vice president. The attack has been publicly condemned by the supporters of members of the Liberal Party. A close call. A close call for him, but we'll see what happens in the future. Even more food. Look. More food. Don't tell me communism never gives us food. Huh. I actually get more weekly change now. That's awesome. After that, we'll have a failure of the 100 Flowers campaign. It was the campaign must end. While it allowed some rectification of the most dangerous elements, it significantly weakened Mao's position. And we removed the 100 Flowers. Oh, that, ooh, that actually kind of sucks. So we lose political power and stability, but we do get some more ideology to defense. That's not a bad idea. I mean, yeah, we weaken Mao, but overall, like, if you allow them to, like, give them a little bit of freedom, then you can probably just crack down on them. The Dixies won't be happy about this. So then, yeah, you, you, by allowing criticism for a while, you can understand and know who your enemies are. Not saying I do this in real life, totally not. But, like, you could end up doing that and purging everyone that you, that needs to be purged. Yeah, just saying, you know, for future sake. For future sake, you never know. Oh, wow, this takes... You don't get anything about a railgun until 20, 2005? Jesus Christ, that's so long. Whoops, I let time go on. My bad. Light armaments? Might as well grab it, right? Might as well. After area lockdown... Which is okay. You get, actually, that's pretty good. You get more defense and max planning. You get rural pacification. But it's a little bit ahead of time. You get some better supply consumption, better res resistance growth speed. Ooh, air doctrine. I have no idea what we want to do for air doctrine. So it's 57. Naval doctrine. 
Fleet and Bing. I do want a lot of battleships. I'll go with that one. Oh, no. It's almost done. Uh, this one is the one we want. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll grab that stuff. So this one's a little bit ahead of time. A little bit too ahead of time. We got some screen ships. That's not bad. I'll get some more cruisers. Might as well get some naval stuff too. Uh, we're almost done with this one. So we're going to make another one after this as well. Keep making a lot of infrastructure everywhere. And you're almost done. You're almost done. Operation Blue Bat. Okay, cool. Store order in Lebanon. America's been really involved with the Middle East ever since Britain kind of left. Ish. Crisis in Lebanon. Another crisis in Levant. If, it's, if America's not get, intervening in the Middle East, is it really America? And mild self-criticism at Lushan. Once Ma'al does his self-criticism, it'll prove to the people inside and outside of the party that, none is, that no one is perfect. The remaining opposition won't be able to recover from this ter terrific blow in years. Not bad. And we have two days left, and we're going to throw on another one. Nice. Keep going. I'm going to keep one on office box at all times. 25% is super nice. We're going to make 14. Millies, civvies, farms, which is okay. Opus die dominance. Oh, so that is an actual group, huh? I only knew about that because of the TNO. Interesting. So now we're actually getting no, <laughs> no more stability. Okay. And we're, oh God, we're losing stuff as well. Uh, oh, that sucks. So after this one, so we'll be done with this side of the tree, which is nice. We still have the Sino-Soviet split, which we'll do eventually. I think we'll just kind of keep going on do Soviet trainers. I think that'd be okay. Just to like maybe wrap stuff up here. I would like to get through this part of the focus tree soon for this episode. You know, to finish all the stuff up. Um, and finish all the military stuff so we can get to the next decade and see what that's like. I think it'll be kind of good, so. Oh, wow. Well, what happened there? Okay, nice. So now we're at $40 billion, but the Lushan Conference. The Politburo has united itself in the hopes of making a conference that discusses the Great Leap Forward and the benefits and terrible mismanagement that it brought. Peng Du De Huai sent a letter to Mao during the conference, respectively criticizing the elements that made the Great Leap Forward a disastrous effort, a move that cost him his career. Moments after, Mao extended the conference for 10 days, where he vehemently criticized Peng Du Huai for being only 30 kilometers away from the rightists. And ordered, ordering his dismissal, arrest, and replacement by a little general, Lin Biao. After soon, soon after, Mao Zedong made a long, passionate, and bellicose speech in Lushan, defending himself by claiming that he, just as a great writers as Confucius, Lin, and Marx, made mistakes that helped, and focusing on those mistakes would not help the situation. He soon followed by defending his strategies in the Great Leap Forward. The chairman further solidified his rule inside China, and it seems few, if any, dare to oppose him. Concerning. More breakthrough for the infantry. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta make the infantry even better. Uh, you want some stuff for Vietnam? Here you go. Have some stuff. We don't have enough support equipment. How are we looking now? Uh, auto cannons are really bad, as well as trucks. Trucks and auto cannons. Uh, heavy artillery. Actually, heart, that's looking pretty good. Light artillery is doing okay as well. We got some more auto cannons there. Uh, direct fire guns. Yeah, we need some more of that. We definitely need more of this too. And more. Oh my goodness, it's so bad for all of us. Yeah, we just need more stuff in general. Light tanks go with two. Anything else here? Not really. That's fine. So, hopefully the purges are done. Oh, 48%. Not bad. Okay, so now we get 0.1. That's not great. We have level 4 intro party opposition, which sucks. But we do have level 5 party supremacy. Is this going up at all or going down? It is staying the same, which is okay. So we train the execution of Cho Bang Am. And we'll do this on Sheng Yang uh, Aircraft Corporation. Cho Bang Yang, the former progressive party candidate, has been found guilty of espionage and sentenced to death. After his first initial trial failed to accrue enough evidence to convict him several months ago, a more recent. Uh, oh, God. Uh, recent trials found conclusive evidence that Cho Bang Am had been funded by North Korea. The evidence that Cho Bang Am has been conspiring against South Korea has led to increased tensions between the two nations. Already there's a public outrage and fear that North Korea may make another attempt to infiltrate the South Korean government. The heightened state of affairs has led to an increased state of awareness in the country and additional funding to audit systems. A disturbing abuse of human rights. Yellow River Flooding. China has seen one of the most catastrophic floods in its history. The Yellow River has flooded in its banks once again. The last time that flooded was in 38, and as a national Chinese government destroyed the dikes in hope to stop the Japanese. Flooding seems to be a Chinese problem, and the Battle of Hayes Pond. Oh, look at this. That's kind of cool. South Carolina based KKK was raided after coal. Oh, okay. Interesting. Looks like they're after the fine man now. Looks like they're after a fine man now. Okay. Alright, well, things happen. And after this one, we'll be done with the Air Force. I think it'd be time to finally move on to the People's Liberation Army. Founded on August 1st, 1927, the People's Liberation Army, or the Red Army, has been a force dedicated to fighting colonialism, imperialism, and capitalism. Though it has faced many hardships, the People's Army has turned out triumphant over the forces who would seek to destroy us. The TU-114 
pro propaganda campaign. At the recent World Exhibition in Brussels, the Soviets revealed a new passenger airline, the TU-114. This massive passenger aircraft is capable of trans-oceanic flights, has sleeping berths for passengers, and is the fastest propeller plane in history, capable of matching the speeds of jet airliners. The Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, eager to showcase his brilliant Soviet technology, has decided to fly the plane on his visit to the U.S. Although privately senior Soviet officials were concerned on trusting an aircraft still under development, Khrushchev insisted on taking it. Upon its arrival, many in the international press were impressed by the size and capabilities, claiming it was superior to any Western passenger plane currently in the market. The flight of the, the plane has ended up being a major success for Khrushchev and his campaign to showcase Soviet ingenuity to the world. A victory for Soviet aviation. And finally, we get some political power back. Oh, thank God. Uh, we'll be fine there eventually. So, uh, yeah, the People Liberation Army would be very nice. The People's Liberation Army, Navy, and Army. And Navy. Oh. Okay, that has been removed. Oh, we got some atomic research. Nice. Nuclear weapons? Yeah, we gotta become, start becoming nuclear power here. There will be no compromise. Happy 1958, though, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Better jet cast. Oh, we already did that one. I'll get even better jet cast. Nothing like some good old jet cast. Cool. And... Uh, get some better planes. Yes. Yes. How are we doing here? Good, 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 good. We're actually building some normal infrastructure. Which is okay. Resource-wise, where are we at? We are doing fine. The legalization of the SSMP. Okay. Interesting. Um, I do want to throw in maybe some more stuff here. I would really like more industrial parks. It does hurt our petrochemicals, which is not good. So maybe we'll get some petrochemicals. Silver defense shelters? Not a bad idea. Especially if we go nuclear. Very nuclear. A little bit ahead of time. Um, we can grab some radar, I guess. We'll try it. Why not? Hmm, petrochemicals. Foundry? Okay. Yeah, let's get one of these guys going. There you go. Get some three of those. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I don't mind making a little bit of infrastructure at all times. Because you can only build so much here, but we'll see what happens. Wider infrastructure is fine for now. We have more than enough of that, so. Air net, anti-air net, radar rays would be nice. Uh, inertia training stuff, that's fine. Um, sonar, yeah, sonar would be pretty good for subs if we ever decide to make them. That'd be good, so. And the transforma transforming our army, but let's do the Galen Naval Academy. Establish the first Naval Academy of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. The Naval Academy at Dalian will be a premier location to train our sailors in a fight against reactionaries and the Imperial Sequest. Followed up with transforming, transforming our army. Our army has been focused on indirect warfare, using tactics that serve us well when we face an overwhelming and technologically superior foe. Now, however, we are dominant. Those who would fight us cannot stand up to our united or unified might. As such, the People's Liberation Army must be reformed into a fighting force that can tackle all threats, both internal and external. Li Ting, yes, please. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. General Kadar appointed General Secretary. All right, interesting. Falangism ascended in Spain. Ooh, a concerning trend. Sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's keep building, boys. Keep building. You ain't done yet. We have 132 factories, mostly civvies, a few millies. Of course, we need some more, but... 8.54, not bad. Introduction of Pinyin. Oh, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Progress! All cities and state names will be using Pinyin. 58, huh? 5%, that's not enough. We need. We definitely need more. Oh. I just, our industrial base is not good enough. I wanted to get better and better and better and better. Nice, good, 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 good. Transforming our army. Establish a rook soldier militia. Our ability to rapidly train soldiers will be key in the fight against capitalism. By establishing working militia groups, we will ensure that the time is necessary, troops can quickly be brought to the front, um, wherever it may be. Nice, better cruisers are good. Uh, screens, eh, that's okay. Screen aviation, that might not be bad to do. Um, go and grab that one too, it's fine, doesn't matter. Computers, helicopters, I don't know about helicopters, we'll see about that. Attack bombers, we're going to see naval bombers. Probably, maybe? We'll see. We'll see, I have no idea. So much research, man. Keep making that infrastructure. Strategic fuel reserves. I mean, that's okay. I never really choose that one. I always prefer just getting more fuel. Because they're 10,000. And making these petrochemicals are 20,000. So it's double the cost, but you actually get fuel. So. And we can really, really use that. Because we're right now, we're like minus what? Minus 40? That's, <laughs> that's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty bad. What if we got some more fuel? Does that help us at all? Does that help us build faster, maybe? That would be kind of nice. So the army gets, and they're, tr they're trying to train. Um, so if we get rid of it, August 20th, 1958, what if we got rid of that so we can save our cities? So if we got rid of that, August 20th, nope, it doesn't change. So there's no point in doing that. But transforming our army, establish a work soldier militia. Followed up with artillery developments. 
Artillery has been a key in our fight against both Imperial Japan and the False Republic of China. We must continue developing our artillery d technology to ensure that we can rain heck upon all those who would threaten the People's Republic. That'd be very good. Uh, we love artillery here. Artillery is super good. Anything else? We're getting point seven two. Uh, get some more stuff to Vietnam. I want to make sure that when things really break out, they'll definitely do okay. Who is this? Laos People's Democratic Republic. All right, Kingdom of Laos. They're probably gonna die. Um, how is that? Not there's no Pol Pot there yet. Thailand. I got a lot of Marxist Leninist stuff down there. Union of Burma looking pretty happy. Socialists. Um, the anti-communist KMT is still down there. How do we kill them off? India, not bad. Led by Jawahara Jawaharlal Nehru. All right, cool. Father of Indian independence. All right. Islamic Republic of Pakistani. Already developments, followed up with men over material. Our greatest strength is our people. We must make it clear to the populace that serving the armed forces will help bring forth a revolution and keep our precious China safe. Way well, more population, less resistance growth. Establish public security forces. Order must be maintained. With or without order, our society will collapse. We saw that under the Manchurian kings and saw it under the false republic. We must ensure that our rules codified and those who dissipate our rule are dealt with. Oh, I heard it's a consumer goods though. Hmm. Establish air defense troops. The newly established capital, Beijing, needs to be protected. To ensure the safety of Beijing and the state, we must establish a specialized force of soldiers dedicated to the defense of the air around Beijing. I'll grab that too, because we can't, why not? Development of armored troops. This is no longer a time of pure infantry and cavalry. This is not a time of raising the banners. We are in a new age, an age of tanks, planes, and missiles, and weapons that can wipe out humanity. To ensure our soldiers can meet the needs of China, we must develop our armored carriers and vehicles. Nice. And after sonar, um... Hey, maybe get some smoke screen. That'd be kind of cool. Smoke screen gives you armor. I don't know about that, but okay. And after that one, we're going to grab some of these guys, too. Light jets, huh? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. And let's go and choose men over material. And indoctrinate the peasants, because we love doing that. The peasants will be the rural vanguard of the revolution. As we free them from the dictatorship of the landlords, we will show them how their faith in the party will bring about their own prosperity and human wave tactics. The idea of mass assault will be important in the days to come. Our greatest asset is our people. As one of the most populated nations on the earth, we need to ensure... Oh, that's not good. Uh, we have a strong and large military. Oh, boy. All right, everyone. So, I didn't realize, but South... Vietnam, or the Republic of Vietnam, is having some problems, and they're trying to fight the National Liberation Front, so... Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Vietnamese War, led by this guy, Nguyen Nguyen Hu Tho, but the Cuban Revolution has fired. Also, we did earlier have a Egyptian Revolution, so... Cool. Uh, if you want to read about Castro and his, uh, Cuban Revolution, please go ahead. How did America allow this? Oh, look at this guy. Looks a little bit like Trudeau. Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Nash nationalism. Is he not? Huh. Okay, but I did send volunteers down to South Vietnam, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do okay. Oh, and there goes the Republic of Vietnam. The government has gone into exile, and the main forces have capitulated the National Liberation Front, who is now in control of the home area. Although the struggles between National Liberation Front and the Republic of Vietnam are over, National Liberation Front is still at all, uh, still at, all at war, and fighting continues elsewhere. Okay, I don't think they're supposed to win already, but they're Marxist-Leninists. Um... Food consumption. We still hold Chi Minh up here, so... Maybe we should start trying to influence people. But then again, we don't have that much political power. We, are we just finished and established the uh, public security forces. Um, we're going to doctrine the peasants next, because we love doing that. Uh, yeah. So... Contum? So what happens now? Do we actually have a civil war? Or a Vietnamese war here? No, this is kind of a generic focus for you. Okay, that kind of sucks. Um... Oh, they do, do, did go down this way. Um, Alright, Soviet military aid. Soviet embassies and KGB connections. <laughs> they lose a thousand manpower, but North Vietnam condemns leftist de deviation. The Central Committee of North Vietnam has denounced that the ideology is followed by the People's Republic of China. According to the leadership of North Vietnam, the concept of Maoism are a clear deviation and revisionism of the ideology that is followed in the nation, not Marxism-Leninism. The Vietnamese have announced a reorientation of the USSR while relations with Beijing have soured significantly. The PRC has announced that the decision of North Vietnam is regretful and that it is a shame that North Vietnam has chosen to be a blatant revisionist and reactionary nation. We hope that they can reorient their course of action as soon as possible. It remains to be seen whether Vietnam will, of course, continue its pro-Soviet course. A surprising turn of events. This doesn't make any sense. What's going on now, man? I don't think Vietnam and China never, never really like each other historically, but like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? And we're still building ourselves up. More. Oh, we actually, got some petrol stuff, huh? Do we actually have? 
Minus 37, not bad. Uh, we're going to keep working on that, get more fuel, 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 fuel. Because right now our army is using a lot for training, which are taking so long to train, man. So long. And our air is taking some stuff, and our navy is taking some stuff. Of course, we're still getting more industrial parks, which is nice. 0.56 trillion in GDP. We indoctrinate the peasants, which is always good to do. And let's come over here to the very right side and do develop armor troops. Nice. Um, and we're still building some more cities. Thai recognition of the Shan State. More turmoil in South Asia. Okay. Thai and Burma. Oh. How to get rid of these guys? Can we just go to war with them? Will this cause World War II? Declaration of La Salle St. Cloud. Alright. I mean... Is it possible for us to do this? I mean, technically that should be under us, right? Or... Foreign claims? I don't know. Will we? I don't know. We'll try. We'll see what happens. If it goes poorly, then we'll not do it, but... It's always good to know what's going on here. So I guess that was a Vietnam War, for now. I guess it might be Vietnam War Part 2, Electric Boogaloo, but... Human Wave Tactics will be very good to do. And we got plenty of food, which is nice. Got quite a bit of money, too. And stability slowly going up. So now that finishes everything else up here, except for this side. I've already done this academy, but... Soviet Naval Advisors, because we always want to learn from a lot from the Soviet Navy, right? <laughs> the Soviet Union under Stalin has seen a rapid increase in their naval production. By inviting Soviet advisors, we can take what they've learned fighting the Second World War and apply it to our own needs. Get some better naval production research speed, as well as naval research speed in general. Gen 2 has been removed. Oh, oh, look at that. Nice. We've got that one research, which is nice. We've got to wait till 1960. Uh, carrier fires, stuff like that. We could probably wait. Um, screens, medium holes, large holes. Oh, these are all subbies, right? Light chips and subby chubbies. You got a chubby subby. Uh, let's grab some of that because we can. If we can. Can we not? No, we don't. Oh, this one. Yeah, we can. Cool. Alright, better planes. Generation 5 stuff. We still need more fuel. My goodness. But happy 1958. It's almost 59, though. Destroyer is probably not even going to be using that, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, Anything else up here? No, not really. Human wave tactics followed up with this one and the old KMT boats. Ooh, that's not too bad. The Anshan class. All right. Wow, that's a lot of population. Holy crud. Holy big daddies. How is the Polish People's Republic doing? It looks pretty happy for being a Marxist Leninist. Uh, Vladislaw Gomulka. The French Republic. Charles. Oh, Charles de Gaulle. It's looking a little chubby than I thought he would be. And of course. Hey, Harold Macmillan. I know that guy. Sort of. John Ed Costello. Human wave tactics. Soviet naval advisors. Yes, please. Germany, Adenauer, uh, Walter Obrecht, Austria, Fanfani, sounds familiar. Oh, Francisco Franco, still hanging out, he's getting kind of old though. Uh, the Nationalists, and Mr. Balding Eisenhower, and of course we have John Diefen Diefenbacher, Baker, B Bacher, Baker, PRRI demands met, new government forms, alright. Revolution of King and People, in Morocco, alright. Francisco Gonzalez. So after this one, we're going to just do fortify the coasts. For the moment, we are outnumbered and outmatched in the high seas. As we begin our naval capacity, we must in the meantime fortify our coastline, ensuring the invasions to China was subjected to by the Japanese during the Second Sino-Japanese War, which hopefully which will never happen again. So we get more constructions before, well, well less than three, than three years, and get more stability, which would be pretty nice, actually. Very, very nice. And about four days left. Still good on food. Yeah, I... It's just not growing fast enough. I wanted to grow faster. Modern mountain warfare stuff. Okay, cool. Special army forces. Why not? Just go right on ahead, people. Go right on ahead. Fortify them coast. We have naval air forces. Very nice. Very nice. And if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Um, let's go to the next one, too. Old KMT boats. We've discovered a large stock of Kuomintang ships. Abandoned after the false republic were retreated back to Taiwan. We will gladly take them and repurpose them for our own needs. Thank you. Um, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. They keep going with factories. Oh, uh, do we really need more food? I guess we keep making more infrastructure for now. Um, it doesn't seem like it helps us out that much. We get more resource, which is nice, and supply throughput, but... So can sometimes uncover hidden resource deposits, research, infrastructure, projects, increase max level. Um, let's go civil defense, shelters, water. We pretty good. I like more construction speed. Municipal infrastructure seems really beneficial. So, naval bombers are nice. Go right there. And we're going to grab Chang Dong, Mr. Dong. A technology? Uh, naval strike craft, long range bombers, strategic bombers, logistical aircraft transports. 
Air Doctrine? Oh, we'll talk about that probably next episode. I don't want to think about that right now. Heavy ships? Battle cruiser hole through. Whoa, that's 1970 stuff. Wow. Um, I guess we can start going with some carrier stuff. That's kind of okay with me. I don't mind getting a few carriers here and there. But after getting radar, what else are we gonna choose? Tanks? We probably get some better. We'll get some bonuses to this stuff. So we got medium. We got light tanks. It's almost 1960. Heavy tanks. Um, mechanized transports. Better no. Heavy mechanized too. Sure, why not? Why not? Just we're only on extensive conscription, right? Yeah. Conscription effort, militarism, egalitarian beliefs, fortify the coasts, get some old KMT boats, followed up with enable air forces. This is the new age, one where we can no longer be sending huge battleships against one another, even though we already do that. To modernize China and prepare for her for all the threats she may face, we must modernize our naval air force. Makes sense. How are the ships? We got two more ships here, not bad. Not a great group. Oh, he's been oh he's been executed. Oh crap. Oh, barbaric. Unfortunate. But he got what was coming to him. I guess you could make the case. Um, we can make some of that too, maybe, if we have enough uh, millies, which we really don't. Actually, what are... So we're mostly using this division, I believe. Can we throw anything else on here? Heavy artillery support, engineer support. I actually like... That's plus 70 defense. It's so good. We have enough guns for it. We need some more stuff. Let's do that one. Atomic weapon theory. Nuclear China. Fizzle materials. Yes. Fission weapons. Yes. And a few days left for that one. Good. Alright, so the military... Education is still the most that we're spending on, which sucks. Alright, growth rate is 6.2%. Not good enough. It really, it just really is not good enough. We need more. Um, all KMT boats are very good. Revised curriculum. Enable air forces. Great. What's the next research done? In about seven days. Oh, uh, that's a case. Well, let's go back to that. And we'll talk about the Sino soviet split pretty much from here on out. I thought we clicked on this one already. Fleet and Bing. Saves 80 days. Might as well, right? Cool. Four days left for smoke screens. Might do medium armor missiles. We'll see what happens. ASW missiles. Yeah, we could probably do that. Get some more ASW attack. I don't like fighting subs. I hate subs. Enemy subs, at least. So, after that one, let's go into the Sino Soviet split. Finally. We can create our own faction, which would be kind of nice. We're not in our own faction yet, but we will be very soon. The nationalization of the Iraqi Petroleum Company. Oh, boy. A loss for the West. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Secured land to support the new government's land policies. Swedish government concedes to the SSKF. No longer pursue a nuclear weapons program. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, but I guess Swedes are going to be doing Swedish things, right? Sweden just doing Swedish things. Approach Albania. I kind of like that. Let's approach Albania, shall we? Yay. Approach Albania. All right, increase in production or facilities, strength and tides of the DPRK, which is our technical their puppet, so that'd be good to do. Uh, are we still building up stuff? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I just feel like we're struggling a little bit as China here. I just want to build more. Just do better. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Just do better. What, 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 what are they doing over here? Support the Soviet... That happened a few years ago, I'm pretty sure. Yugoslavia endorsed the Soviet intervention in Hungary. The day the music died. Oh. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, interesting. Austria is still under Rob. Look how happy this guy is. Antonin. They defy the Soviet Union. A small country in Northern Europe has taken a firm stance against its eastern neighbor. The Soviet Union, in an unprecedented twist of events, workers win again. Who are they by? Euro Kekonen? A centrist. All right. Oh, they're trying to join NATO. Okay. The Soviet Union has a lot more influence than them, though. Even Sweden has influence, but approach the Albanians. And we'll strengthen the DP arcade next. That would be great. This looks so sad. I hate this so much. Just give Königsberg back to Germany, please. Just let him buy it or something. That's so disgusting. Oh, they have Bessarabia too, huh? Odessa, of course. Um, Is this... Yeah, Transnistria. Oh, Transnistria. Very weird state. Very odd. Shouldn't be free. Shouldn't be liberated. Cool. Nice. Are we still getting stability? We are. Point one. That's not bad. It is 59. So, wait. Did... You're still here. That's in Brazil. Kubishek. I've heard of you before. Aldria. Argentina. Peron. I've heard Peron as well. Alfredo Strassner. 
I thought we already read this one. A nuclear arms program? Okay. Good for them. Uh, Hetzog? Hetzog. You have a funny mustache, man. Okay, are you part German or something? Or Austrian? Alright. And then, strengthen the ties. Followed up with good old the Tibetan Uprising. Um, I mean, it's... We've already technically already killed them off. I mean, I'm I integrated them with us. Oh, look at this. Central African Republic. Oh, God. Oh, France, what did you do? He looks happy. I bet he is happy. Uh, you gave him freedom? I like this one. Nigerian Federation. Just wait until we get... China gets involved down here. End of the Spanish Moroccan Protectorate. Have victory for diplomacy, all right? Um, the great Chinese... Fa oh! Oh, Schneikies! Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, a little bit ahead of time for that stuff. Uh, I'll grab that one because again, we'll probably need that eventually. Cote d'Ivory, Mali. God, France, you screwed up. You screwed up so hard, man. Oh, Salazar's there. Look at that. Macmillan, of course. Liberia. Oh, he's smoking a fat one, huh? Tubman. Alright, so what do we have after this one? The Tibetan Uprising, of course. And we've got to do Leave Tibet Alone versus the Peace in the Himalayas. Mao Zedong angered by KMT posturing. If you wonder about that, please go ahead. We must rally behind this cause. Uh, Oh, I guess there might have been something else there. Oh, we can't do this one. Crush your insurgency. Um, were we not supposed to do that stuff earlier? Because we already took them out. Okay, so I'm a little confused now. What are we supposed to be doing? Um, GDP is 0.54. I thought it was 0.57 earlier. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but now we have no focus to do. Do we have to wait for that? Or maybe I should have done it already? I don't really know, so I guess we'll see what happens. I think I might just end the episode here. Maybe, and yeah, so okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Hey, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll hopefully end up in the 1960s. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.